everyone, I'm Carol. And I'm Austin. And this is our van. It is a 2020 Dodge Ram Promaster 3500 159 inch wheelbase extended edition. We bought this in was it March? March. March of 20. the year of our Lord 2020 <laughs> and we built it out. It took us about two months to build. We were getting ready to buy a house and we decided that we wanted to do van life instead uh, which works really well for our lifestyle. I'm a musician <laughs> and I design and make jewelry out of here. Out of this, this bad boy. Come take a look. Welcome to our van. Priority, not priority one, but something that was incredibly important to both of us. Where am I gonna store all of our clothes? Exhibit <laughs> A. Exhibit A. I mean, look at this. We've got sequins, sweaters, coats. But yeah, it's so much space here. Closet. Woo. Oh, and it smells good. It's cedar lined. Cedar lined closet. It smells really, really nice in here. So the clothes always are fresh. Next. Oh, latches. So things don't fly open as we're driving. Here we have plenty of space. These drawers are huge. All of our necessities. Kitchen, we got obviously our Widow Jane flask. We have cool things. <laughs> this is our intimate, so I'm gonna leave this one closed. Delicates. <laughs> Delicates. And then something that was also very important to us as we have a ton of boots, we needed boot storage. And so we both have what, like four pairs a piece, slippers, sandals. We have our Burks, Birkenstocks. Why'd I say Burks? We have our Birkenstocks. Don't, don't sleep on that Burke life. <laughs> and here's a whole nother space that we have a safe and extra things. We have sneakers in there. That's the furnace. Oh yeah, furnace. So there's hooks here for our towels to dry out or anything, our hats or anything we want to put here, dang. Our kitchen, we have a really large stainless steel sink. And here's our water pump switch. So it's easy, just flip that on. Water pressure. Great. It's a, uh, one of these things, you know. An extending sink faucet. Thanks, camera man. <laughs> yeah, it's cool too because it flips around so you can have it outside. Yeah. Oh, hand, hand soap right here. It's great. See, I can. Ooh, wasted, but <laughs> proof. <laughs> here we have filtered water. It's awesome. It's deep. It's deep. It's, it's the perfect size. And then on our counter, we did butcher block. We have our three burner gas stove. Here we have our oven with a little blue light switch. We made a full Thanksgiving dinner in here. And then under here, we have all of our pots, pans. Oh, didn't clean this. <laughs> I forgot about this. This space is huge, can fit so, so much stuff. This, this thing is fantastic. So above that driver's seat and the passenger seat, we have just lift this guy up. So much space where we put our our towels, our shades that cover all the windows, our projector, and it goes it's really deep. So it's so much extra stuff. 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 We got room for so much <laughs> stuff. And here we have our pantry. Up. It goes real. Um, we have our Dolly Parton. Okay. Charmin. 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 We like hot sauce. Charmin. We like hot sauce. Mandatory fruit basket. Look at all this. Oh, it's great. Gets everything off the counters. Love it. And sometimes I put eucalyptus or flowers down in here and it just hangs. It's really beautiful. Here is where we store plates, bowls, glasses, coffee mugs, cutting board. So next to our bowls and plates and coffee mugs and all that goodness is our what we use as our coffee section. We do pour over, so we have all that stuff here and it's conveniently placed next to the person who sleeps right here. So just roll over, make a cup of coffee for the person over there or for yourself. 
and yeah. Oh, this! And we also keep our little remote control light thing, and this changes colors. Let's see. We've got red, which we don't use, but it's there. Green. Pink. Turquoise, this one's a good one. And we got white. And they flash, but that's too much. You don't want to do that. So we'll go back to gold. This little guy. And it goes in here. So behind this barn door, with a latch right here to keep it closed as we're driving, is the shower and the restroom. It was one of my biggest concerns with van life is the bathroom situation. But funny enough, it's made me an absolute bathroom snub because even when we're in places, I come out to the van to use our bathroom. Our toilet is a airhead. Airhead. Basically, it separates the liquids and the solids and it's so easy to clean. It's not gross, there's zero smell. Yeah, I'm a bathroom snub because of this. I truly love it. And our shower is right here, which has been amazing. Different settings on the shower head. And then we have all of our shampoo, body wash, conditioner right here in these bottles. And then inside, let me show you. I'm gonna have to sit here for a second, sorry. We have the shower door here. Privacy. <laughs> oh, and also it's all on a dimmable, a dimmable? Dimmable switch. Nice and cozy, bright. <laughs> Get that mood red for them. <laughs> Get that mood. No, it's kind of, it is that kind of thing. You need it. We have a copper wine shower. This is all copper and it's aging so beautifully. I think it's just going to get better and better as the years go on as copper does. Here we have our laundry chute, which is super cool. Where else are you going to put your laundry in a van? You don't want it laying out. And it's tossed right in there. It has its own little space. So down here, <laughs> We've got our propane and carbon monoxide detector. Uh, as most people know, propane is heavier than oxygen, so that's why we have it placed low. And then to my right and your left, we've got our 120 volt AC fridge. I think I said that right. Anyway, this is just a normal uh, plug-in fridge that you would see in... Oh, no! <laughs> We've got all our goodies in here. Uh, sparkling water, our salmon, our veggies, and then right above it, we have our refrigerator with all of our guilty pleasures, like our Reese's Thins and Frozen Gushers. So yeah. And also there. conveniently placed next to the person. Right next to the bed. Sleeping right there. So speaking of sleeping right here, this is actually a full-size, queen-size <laughs> mattress. Uh, we just took a regular old queen-size mattress and put it in our van and it actually fit. So we didn't have to sacrifice anything in the sleep department. The good thing about ProMasters is they're the widest vans that you can buy for build outs like this. I'm six feet, Carol is five. Five, ten, five, ten. nine and a half. Uh, we sleep very comfortably, fully stretched out. Uh, we don't have to be all curled up like you do in some other vans. We didn't have to get additional pop outs for the side of the van. It's just all built into a ProMaster. Up on the bed, I'll show you how I get up on the bed. We've got this little stuff down here. Pop right up into it. We don't always wear our shoes in bed. We never wear our shoes in bed. But when you do, make sure it's cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> so up here in the bed, we have this little shelf that pops out right here. We've got a little stand, kickstand that sits underneath it. We put our projector up here. And then on this end, our projector screen where we can watch all of our programs in flicks. So at the head and the foot of our bed, we have these slider windows, which we can just slide open like that. And we turn on our max air fan and it develops a really amazing breeze uh, on those warmer days. And right above that, on the right and left side, this is our kind of his and hers additional clothing storage. We've got t-shirts, pants. It's another closet, essentially. Same on both sides. Same on both sides. <laughs> AKA don't open yours. <laughs> uh, we've got oh. these nifty little straps on both sides of the bed underneath our cabinets as well for our speakers where we can run stereo sound while we're watching movies and it's awesome. And then to our right here, we have our thermostat that controls our propane furnace. Uh, we can set that automatically uh, on a timer or whatever you want to do. 
and it keeps things nice and toasty in here on the cooler evenings. Do you know what, what I'm saying? Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> when it gets cold, you can turn on the furnace. <laughs> what about what's ahead of your head there? Oh, oh. this is one of the best parts of the, the bed at space. So this is our skylight. You pop this thing open like that. Look at the stars at night. It also has this sunshade that closes like that to keep things not so bright. And then also total blackout for sleeping in. And then in back, we've got our porthole where you can uh, peek out the back. We've got window shades for all of our windows. Over there is a little cup holder that comes down as well. That thing gets used nightly. It's a simple thing, so you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. There's our fan too. Which oh yeah, I'll... that's our Max Air fan, which I've got the remote for hung right up here on this cabinet. Looks like this, just hangs right there. And then this is the bedroom lighting that you can dim as well. All of the lights in the van are on dimmer switches. Including in the kitchen, under the cabinets. Right here behind the driver's side seat, we've got uh, a little guest seat with our buffalo painting and our American flag. It's a comfy seat, huh? It is comfy. A little cubby hole. hole. Shout out to all the cubby hole kids. I like to put my knees up and my back against this one. You have your own little space there. I can't do that there. for sure. You could do it. You think? Definitely. Try. Wait. <laughs> I promise it's comfortable. Right underneath here we've got more storage, which uh, at the current time holds all of our dog rangers uh, blankets and toys and treats and all of that kind of stuff. If you close that, down here we've got a drawer that pulls out to food and water bowls for your little traveling companions. So in our van, our stove top, our oven, our furnace, and our hot water heater are all run on propane, which we have underneath the sink. Right under here, uh, in this, I think, I don't know if that's five gallons, I'm not sure how many gallons that propane, but it's just a regular barbecue propane tank. And that's where we house our, our propane, as well as other cleaning materials. Also equipped in this van is Simply Safe security system, which we have used, and it's been a very good peace of mind factor for uh, whenever we take a walk away from our van. We've got Simply Safe sensors on every single door, as well as a glass break sensor right here in front in case anybody breaks the glass. Uh, also, right over here, looking at the slider door, we have a camera. So you can also check that from your Simply Safe app. It's been a really, really nice thing to have for, like I said, peace of mind and um, making sure that all of your things inside your, your van are simply safe. Whenever we bought this van, it was originally just a cargo van. It was a white shell. There was nothing on the inside. We did the entire build out ourselves. We ended up ordering all of our windows that are behind the front cabin from a company called Van Windows Direct. This one is the slider door. A window which is amazing for when you're cooking you can open up the glass and the screen is still covering protecting you from bugs and all that kind of stuff and then you turn on the fan it creates a nice vortex of wind that blows through here and gets all the smoke and all that stuff out for when somebody might be burning the dinner <laughs> Definitely. I tend to burn things but <laughs> burning is good Anyway, um, <laughs> you can also slide the screen open and you can stick your head out here. Hi, welcome to... Excuse me, what would you like to, to eat? Can I interest you in an ice cream cone? We have Gushers, frozen Gushers. Would you like some candy? Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> I feel like I'm the extra storage lady. So I'm going to talk about all the storage that's in this van. But up here, we also have more storage. So you can put books up here. You can put we have bandanas and our sage, endless sunglasses. Also, you could use it for sandals or whatever you choose. It's, it's a big space. So we have a total of six 120 volt AC outlets in this van. One of which is right above the front cabin, your heads. Uh, this is just a regular, regular outlet, three prong outlet. This one here has uh, USB inputs, so you can charge things up from this one. There's also another one right here in the kitchen, which is perfect for things like coffee. We've used this as an ironing board quite often. Right below it, underneath this countertop, is uh, the outlet for the fridge. 
that we also have our Simply Safe hub connected to under there. The next outlet is right behind our heads here in the bed that also has uh, two USB ports. You can plug your projector in, plug all kinds of fun stuff on both sides, the left and the right. There's USB charging ports for your iPhone, for anything else that uses USB. And then the last outlet would be back in the garage. There's so many plug-in possibilities. You can plug anything in. So one thing that we definitely wanted to make sure that we had whenever we were building this van out was enough space to sit and work and eat and just kind of hang out. So we made sure we got a swivel seat for the driver's side and then another swivel seat for our bench seat, which is a little more rare for uh, these ProMasters that have the full bench seat in the front. So right, we fl flip these bad boys around. Uh, we've basically got a full couch that faces into the back. Um, we also have two uh, swivel tables that go into these little slots right here. And then they come out like this, uh, where you can eat dinner, do work, uh, or just do whatever you want to. So this is the back of the van. We've got a ladder to go up to the roof deck. And then what you're about to see is our garage area, which is normally full of all kinds of stuff. We took it all out so that you could use your imagination to visualize all of your own stuff in there. But we personally carry anything from musical equipment, jewelry equipment, picnic equipment, yoga mats, so Long much boards. room, longboard, blankets. We've got a lot of room back here. So take a look. So this is the garage. As you can see, there's so much space for all kinds of stuff. Um, but we're going to talk about this side of the garage. This is basically the electrical brain of the situation. <laughs> right here we've got 170 amp hour lithium Renogy battery. Right above that is a 120 volt breaker box. Behind it we have a 30 amp transfer switch which switches from the battery bank to shore power whenever you're plugged in shore power. We've also got the rover charge controller. To its left is the 12 volt breaker box. Behind it we have a 2000 watt inverter which takes the solar power and all of the power that's gathered from driving and transfers it into clean 120 volt power. We also have two light switches. That's for this light. That's for this Ooh. light. On this side, we've got the tankless propane water heater, which is great for things like showers, doing hot water dishes. Hot water dishes? What is that? What's a hot water dish? Like soup? I don't know. Anyway, this thing is awesome. Uh, endless hot water. Speaking of water, all the way in back, we've got a 42 gallon fresh water tank, which is great. We go like, what, two weeks? Yeah. using water for things like drinking, showers, dishes, anything like that. Underneath our van, we have a 15 gallon gray water tank, which uh, the drain from the shower and the drain from the sink in front both collect into the middle of the van and then run into this tank, which is run on a switch where the laundry chute is. And you can switch that to open up the gray tank and let all the water out. Right above the switch, we have our fresh water gauge and our gray water gauge that shows us how full or empty either one is. So this is our Trex roof deck. It's made out of Trex, which is lovely and durable and weatherproof. And back behind us, we've got 300 watts of solar. <laughs> this is the roof. This is the roof. It's awesome. Truly, there's so much space. You, you can fit like one, two, three, Comfortably four, five, fit like six, six people up here. Yeah. We've had so many times up here. We have, we spend all of our time up here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So many fun little details on this van, including bottle opener. Those nice warm days. Pop that baby open. Table here, coffee or your beer, or your snacks or your laptop or whatever. Cool little table. Folds right up. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada bing, 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 So there you have it. That's our van. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and, and watching the tour. Uh, our van is actually for sale, so you can check the link in the description. Uh, we're selling this one, we're gonna get another one and build that one out for kind of more tailored to our future plans that we have in mind, which more to come on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one's for sale. So if you like what you saw, uh, check out the link in the description. We'll have all the details in the listing down below. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out 
to our email and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Otherwise, smash that like smash. button, subscribe, like, and comment. Bye. Here right now.